Alright then, so... Oh right, I don't need this up just yet. I still gotta de put my characters. Welcome back to the next episode of the Blindfolded LLG. Compared to the... Uh, yeah. Compared to the episode of... A Brave New World I just did, this should be a lot easier. It's pretty much just a light version of uh, that one. Well, just did uh, chronologically for me. For you, it was uh, the episode before the last. But step one step to get onto the staircase. Now I gotta do two writing downs. Yeah, so in vanilla it's so much easier because I've got that secret passageway there and... I don't have to go buying anything, so that cuts like half my time off by itself. Of course, the dash command, the lack of a dash command also adds some time back on, but... It doesn't make the segment any harder. It just makes it take a little bit longer. That's one writing down. It's two writing downs. So now I take one step back up and head all the way across this bridge. This ridiculously long bridge. If only it were like Pokemon, where it gives you that nice bumping noise every time you run into a wall. That would make this much easier. There we go. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this scenario. So now I've just got to wait for the music to fade out, which will tell me that I've made it to the part where I'm controlling Mog again. Choose another scenario, Koopo. Alright, I know where Locke is relative to the save point. That's how I determined it last segment, so I figured I might as well just build on that for this one. No need to even take the blindfold off on that save point or anything. I don't need to save there. I really don't need to make a segment that short. <coughs> Alright, so let's equip lock, because otherwise I can't commit suicide very quick in vanilla. Um... So, quip, or not. Oh, maybe it was on the relic menu by accident. Yeah, my only recourse at this point is to determine what the save option is and then work my way back. And unfortunately I didn't start with a very good guess. Alright, so that should equip him with the air lancet. All that worked just to equip him with an air lancet. Okay, so now I'm back on track. No dash, we've got to remember that so I don't end up uh, accidentally messing up the entire segment just because I walked not far enough. Particularly in the long jogs like this spot.
One, two, up. Then again, I usually leave such a wide safe, a wide enough safety net that there's a good chance I wouldn't get stuck anyway. But better to be safe than sorry. That's one up and right. Two up and rights. Three up and rights. Alright, so I made it to here. You know, considering I'm right next to an item shop, I don't know, wait, if I had needed anything, I would have bought it in the returns hideout. So, hello, merchant. No chance of you killing me in vanilla. It really doesn't matter which uh, controller lock is set to, considering, obviously, the fact that I only have one character, so I can't possibly mix them up. And victory. Alright, right one, down a bunch. Oh, that person got my way. Good thing I implemented a check there. Okay, good. This time I made it. One, two, and down the staircase. Most of the... Down to the staircase, not down the staircase. Most of the route here is uh, the same as the Brave New World route, but... Just like halfway through, it's pretty much just like, Nope, I'm just gonna cut out this chunk, and yeah. So, left here. One back. Into the door. Into the other door. Now I just gotta get up to the suit of armor. Back down one. Down the staircase. Talk to this kid. And I'm not in the menu. That I just tried to go in, so that's good. And now I am in the menu, so left two. And one more than that, because I actually need to go left three. This kid's still running around out here, but it's a wide open area, so the chances of him getting in my way are kind of slim. At least. All the way left. And now time to abuse that oh-so-handy secret passageway to... that I really wish was in Brave New World just for this blindfolded run. left. Now that the Empire is uh, taking control, there aren't so many of these, those derpy NPCs walking around. So, yeah. Thanks, Empire. Could you invade all the other cities? Alright, so now I should be in a place that allows me to just tack on the other half of the Brave New World route. So I should have made it to the bottom by now. There we go, there's the cafe. Around the staircase. Up the staircase. One up, and now the tedious process of waiting for these NPCs to get out of my way, even though they might not even be in my way to begin with. And in fact, probably aren't. One. 
You know, I consider the biggest troll they could do here being that they could get my way when I'm just about to take a step down. But I'm starting to think that the biggest troll would be not getting in my way at all and just making this a complete waste of time. I probably hit the wall like 10 seconds ago. Down. Down the staircase. Back one. Aw oh, man. I actually did get stuck. Alright, so I'm just gonna start uh, pressing buttons like this and hopefully end up on the other side of the cafe. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I've only got one space to go down from the top right below the counter where I presume I am. Down the staircase. Right one. Nice, got it. Down, right, down, right, down, right, down, right. Here we go. So I, I'm not sure what exactly went wrong in the cafe, but at least it wasn't too hard to fix. There was pretty much no chance of anything else happening if I uh, just went right and up and down and right and just kept going between those. Come on, Locke, can you s just steal already? It's really just more tedious than anything, but there's no danger of anything happening. Unless he gets a really large number of hits in. Okay, it appears I finally... No, I didn't. Okay, now I finally did it. Oh well, better here than the Brave New World version, I can say that much. Down. I mean, that was clearly left, not down, but... Now I go down. Reach this box. One, two, three. Back up the staircase. Now hopefully the cafe doesn't decide to mess me up again. It'll be a little bit harder to recover on the other side because I'm not sure the dimensions of that area. One up. And now all the way left. Probably all the way left several times because... And thankfully, yet again, there's another, uh, it's pretty easy to tell right when I've made it out the cafe. So if I do mess up in here, there's a good chance of me being able to recover anyway. Alright, suppose I've waited long enough. Down one. Down the staircase. 
Now let's exit. One, two. One, two, three. Good. So I'm fighting the Magitek armor guy. Even in vanilla, he can kick the crud out of me really quick with no armor on. So. Oh, I messed this up. Oh no, don't tell me I'm gonna have to restart it now. I'm right next to the end. The worst thing would be if I somehow wandered out of the house, but that shouldn't happen. Alright, so I believe it's two steps up, but... There we go. 